everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to do trade in R. And trade is a very useful technique and it is mostly used for two things. The first one is segmentation as it is something that we'll be able to see at the very end of this case study, the segments that trade produces. And the second one, and this is something that I find it super interesting, is as well driver importance. So we will get uh, order ranking of the most important drivers when it comes to predicting a certain KPI. The major difference between trade and the other segmentation techniques like cluster analysis is that with trade we have a dependent variables. We have something that we would like to predict. Now, which case study are we going to solve? I do find it to be a very interesting one. It is about police biases and what we're going to see. And let's have a look at it. It is in Minneapolis in 2017, and at the time it was recorded all stops that were made by the police. So in regards to the variables, we have date, we have also problem, whether it was suspicious or just because of a traffic stop. We have as well whether there was a citation issued, and as well whether the person was searched, the vehicle was searched, the pre-race, so this is the officer's assessment of race of the person stopped before speaking with the person stopped. And we have as well race. So the officer's determination of race after the incident. Then we have as well gender and then latitude and longitude. And we have the police precinct and the neighborhood. So 84 levels and we have this MDC. So whether the data was collected via in-vehicle computer or whether the person was on foot. Now, what do we actually want to do? So I would like us to see what are the main characteristics that lead for a vehicle to be searched. So I'm going to do vehicle searched as my dependent variable. And then when it comes to the independent variables, I'm going to do race. I'm going to do as well gender and I'm going to do as well police precinct. I think these three ones are the key in order to really try to solve uh, this problem. We could have also done as dependent variable whether the person was searched or whether the citation was issued. I would have also liked to do the citation issued. I think that would also be an interesting one, but there were a lot of NAs in the data set, so not so relevant. And in between person search and vehicle search, I just opted for the vehicle search. But as you'll be able to see, you can just switch the vehicle search variable by the person search variable with the script that we are going to create and do the exact same analysis. So let's go back to R. And the first thing that we need to do is to get the data set. And this data set is within a library. So we want to install packages and pull data. And the package that we need to get in order to get this data set. So you need to do install packages and then in quotes, car, and then data. Don't forget to put the D in uh, caps. And then you do the command library. So I'm going to leave the install packages as a comment because I already have it. And then library and then car data. Here we go. Control enter. And now very simply, we do data set, and then I do M P L S and then stops. Here we go. Let's do control enter. And here we see the data set and all the variables that we had seen previously, they are now here. So let's start. And one thing that I would like us to do is to do summary of our data set and it is really to have a feeling of how our data set looks like and i'm going to focus on the variables that i mentioned that i would like so for instance we have the vehicle search so we have 40k no's and we have 3k yes and we also have some na's and fortunately then we have the pre-race and the race and I would really highlight that there is such an overproportional increase from the pre-race to the race when it comes to black versus white. And as well, we have the gender, so females, males, and unknown. 
and then we have as well the neighborhood so there are a lot of neighborhoods and i'll skip this one and the police precinct next what i would like us to do is look at the data structure one key thing behind shade is that you can only use factors so everything that we use must be a factor and if we have a look at it we see that our police precinct is an integer but in fact it is something that makes far more sense to be a factor or a dummy variable so this is something that we will create in order to use shade so in order to include the police precinct in the analysis we need to transform it into a factor so the first thing that i want us to do is to create the final data set with the variables that we want and for this we need a particular library which is the deep clear one so if you have it leave it, this one as a comment and if you don't have it uh, please do install it and then do library and then deep clear Here we go control enter and now to use deep clear it is something which is quite quite simple so i want data set again because i want it always to be called data set and then arrow and then the way that deeply works is that we always start with the data source so data set is our data source and then in order to signal that we are about to act upon this data set we use this pipe so this percent bigger percent and then we actually tell the function that we want to use and for us we want to select the variables that we want and which are so vehicle search comma next one is race and then we have gender and then finally the police precinct here we go let's just do control enter and we can see our four variables next we are going to transform the police precinct variable so transform and i'm going to do numerical into factors as a comment and the way that we're going to do so we need to go to our data set and we are going to transform the police printing so i still want it to be named that way and then i do arrow and the function that i'm going to use is the as factor and that is the one that is going to transform our data set dollar sign police precinct here we go and if i click here on this arrow you can see that my police precinct is now a factor with five levels next we want to get shade now in order to use shade in order to install the package and to use the library there is one very important thing is that you need to have the latest r version and to do that you need to do install packages and i'm going to leave this one immediately as a comment so install packages and then inside it is install r and then next you do library and then the same thing so install r and then you would use the function update r in order to get this uh, r updated so update r and that is what you'd have to do so i'm going to leave both as a comment i'm just going to leave this just in case you don't have it and how do you know if you don't have it is that when you are to install the library if it doesn't work out so applying shade and and as always the first thing is to install the library so shade and now there is one thing that you also need to include which is the certain repository and it is this repository the reason why you need the most recent version of r so repos equal and then you do quotes you do https and then you do colon you do the slashes so two of them and then r hyphen and then forge and then you do dot r again then hyphen and then project dot org so this is something that you need to do and then again i'm going to leave this one as a comment and i'm just going to do library of shade so library 
open parenthesis and then shade. There you go. Control enter. Now let's not waste any more time. There is one thing that I would like us to do. So in shade, you can do several different settings. So I'm going to do shade control and then I'm going to do F1 in order to ask for help. And here we go. Let me also increase the size. And here we go. There is this shade control. There's alpha, alpha, min split. And let's have a look at them. So min split. So this is the number of observations in splitted response at which no further split is desired. So this is about what is the minimum amount of uh, observations for which there will be no split uh, required or needed. Personally, I would rather do minimum bucket, so minimum number of observations in terminal nodes. And these are my segments. So I would rather have a bucket with more people. So this is the one that I usually use because for me, I don't find it so interesting to have a segment with not so many people because for me, it's not so actionable in the end. And I'm going to do 1000 over here and then I'm going to do max height and then I'm just going to do two. So only two levels in order to do this next. Now, finally, yes, we're going to do shade and we need to create now something in which we'll store our model. So model equals and then or rather arrow and then we do shade. And the way to do this, it's actually quite similar to uh, linear regression because the way that the formula is done is exactly the same. So it always starts with the dependent variable. So we include vehicle search and then we do tilde and then I want all of them. So the shortcut is to do a dot and then comma. And then what I need to do now is to include a data source. So data equals data set. And then now I want something in order to go to my controls that I have specified previously. So control equals control. And then let's select everything because I did not run the previous line. Here we go. All right, congrats. So we have now done our shade model and you can see that it is included here. For me, the best way to visualize the output of shade is through a graph. So it is really visualizing the output. So I'm going to do as a comment and I'm going to state so plotting shade output. And for this, we're actually going to use the very simple function, the plot one, and we are going to plot our model. There is nonetheless a couple of things that I would like us to include. And this is so that it makes it more visual, at least in my laptop. So GP and then equals and then inside G par. And this is where I'll state just two things. So the color and I'll state the font size. So I'm going to do call equals and then I'm going to do blue. And then next, I'm going to do font size. Oops. And then I'm going to do font size and then equals to seven. This is simply because we're going to have a pretty branched uh, out tree. So it will be pretty, pretty wide. And that is the key reason. So control enter and it will appear here in our plots. So here we go. And let me increase the size. And how do you interpret this? So the first thing is these bars over here. Now, the more they are filled, the more positive observations they have included in our case. The more they are filled, the more vehicle search they have within their own group. What can we also say about all of this? So on top, this is the most important driver. In our case, we can see that it is race, the most important driver when it comes to determining whether a certain vehicle will be searched or not. And that the second one would be the police precinct in 
everywhere, so in all races except Asian. And in Asian, then it is the gender which becomes the most important uh, driver. This is a very simple chait uh, tree, but again, we I just use three independent variables. Now, how to analyze this? So the way that I do it is that I go and I try to see per split or per initial split of the most important drivers where the buckets are more filled. And here we can clearly see it is with the black. So people who are black, they are far more likely to have their vehicles searched. And you can see that because the bars here are also more filled. Next, you can also see that when it comes to the Native American, they are also likely to have their vehicle searched. So the bars are also decently filled. And as well, you could also say for the Latino slash other. But I would really highlight that there is the black community and the Native American community, which have greater likelihood of having their vehicle searched. What can we also say? I think it's also important to notice the police precinct. And one thing that I noticed is that let's have a look at the black. So we have the fourth precinct as well in the white slash East African. We have again the fourth precinct, again the unknown fourth precinct. And we actually see that it's the fourth precinct everywhere. So it is clearly in this part of town where the people are actually far more likely to have their vehicle searched. Now, this can be by many reasons. And of course, I don't know them because I also don't know uh, Minneapolis. But this is something that from a social perspective and from a public policy perspective, I would also try to have a look at why are the people from this precinct having their vehicles searched more often. And this is it. So I hope that you found Shade an interesting and useful tool. So I do find it to be a very cool technique. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I am very much looking forward to seeing you in another video to learn more about analytics tools. And until then, have fun.